All right, guys, this is Mithril with day 14, I think, of the Exodus Krieg playthrough. And let's see here. What did I get last time? Not that. We got the Gremlins. We got the Acid Splash, I think. We got the Ruckus, the Jaeger, the Venus, the Eclipse. What else? Is that everything? That can't be everything, right? Oh, we got the explosion. And maybe that's everything I have? Huh. Here's the build. No bar. And yeah, let's uh, continue on. So our main bro here, Cassius, also has a couple drops. I think there's two of them. Let me guess. One, two. One of them is OP exclusive. Just so you guys know. Make sure you guys pick up the quest Klapto Currency, which should be this one. Yes. So to get this item we are looking for, you can complete the mission or you can get it from the Dark Web. Now, also, the Dark Web has two drops. The item that drops or well, not drops, but, you know, you get from the mission. And then it has another, which is a legendary. So, yeah, it has two drops. All right, we turn in the quest and we get the admin also level up let's level up first Ooh, let's do buzzax bombardier and then let's take a look at the shield a blue tdr shield it gives us weapon damage max health and then redistribution what's that mean okay it's red text is p2p baby yeah all shield stats are additionally increased and redistributed between all network users increases max health and weapon damage so if i had like i don't know friends and then we all had this shield on the stats would split between us i think that's how that works Okay, come on, internet. Why are we struggling? Increases weapon damage and max health. In addition, all shield stats are redistributed between all network users. Oh, peer to peer. Peer to pawn. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. So basically, if you had friends and you guys all had this on, let's say, I don't know, you each had 2000 max health. And then, what is that, 248? Well, I guess you, you would still get 2,000, but you get on what I'm saying, right? All the stats would just be shared, I guess. All right, moving on. I told you what would happen. Oh, here we go. See, watch. He dropped the admin. So, yeah. Uh, there you go. Proof. Okay, we leveled up. And no drop still, so let's go over here and let's do, hmm, let's do Fuel the Blood. Oh, did we finally get it? Yes. Confusion! Okay, hold on. It's a legendary Torg shield, the Denominator. Okay, doesn't look that special. Past the, it's got a explosive Nova. Pretty high damage. The radius is pretty high too. And then its red text is one divided by explosions equals profit. Increases explosive damage when depleted. Releases a explosive Nova blast when depleted. And then must fully recharge between Novas. All right, let's see if I can't get that. Hold on. Hold on. Just gotta wait for my shield to recharge. Hopefully nobody hits me. Okay. This may take a second. There you go. Come on. Keep going. No, don't stop. I don't know where the Nova was. Hold on. Yeah, this is a explosive Nova. Hmm. 
That's odd. I don't know why that didn't go off, but okay. Interesting. Here it is, the denominator. Increases explosive damage when depleted. Uh, and it increases it by 20%. That's not that much. But I guess every little bit does help, right? Yeah, I don't know why the, uh, the Nova didn't go off, though. That's odd. Oh? Yes, we got it. The Vandal. Hold on, let me just clear out the area. There we go. So yes, Uranus, or Uranus, however you want to say it, does drop a legendary Torg shotgun called the Vandal. He also has a OP exclusive weapon, which we will check out in a second. Um, The skin isn't anything too exciting. It just says Torg right there, times nine. Accuracy is bad, fire rate is pretty bad, reload times pretty decent, I guess. It's about average for a Torg shotgun. Five mag, its red text is keep calm and explode things. Three ammo per shot, huh? Let's see. Oh, it's kind of like the Octo a little bit. So you shoot in a three by three pattern, it explodes and then it waits a second and then explodes again. Okay. Come on. Fires a wall of explosions. Pellet explode for a second time after a half second. Is a play on keep calm and carry on. Okay. And then the OP exclusive weapon is called Smart Gun. Oh, please don't beat the uh, BL3 Smart Gun. Okay, I don't think it is. Smart Gun, 18.1 fire rate, it's pretty good. 65 mag, legendary doll assault rifle. The skin is plain. I can't really see the red text. The red text is bees, man. Bees have hives. Then it fires homing bullets with limited range. Burst fires from hip, lower burst delay when aiming down sights. So it's kind of like the Seeker, a little bit. Goes well with the B shield as you can hit enemies from a safe distance over cover. Works well with Gauge Anarchy, okay. Very rarely, if ever, scores critical hits, okay, that makes sense. It generally homes in on the enemies closest to the player, then the enemies near the bullet, okay, gotcha. It's a reference to the M56 smart gun from Alien. Ah. From Private Vasquez, one of the smart gunners in the first Alien movie. Man, it's been forever since I've seen the uh, first Alien movie. Pretty good movie, though. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's all of the items you get from Uranus. Okay, so we're back here at Cassius. Or Cassius, however you want to say it. Okay, we did get it, finally. The Blood Bank. A legendary TDR SMG. Where are you? Here you are. We can put you here. Very red. Okay. Stats are looking all right. Its red text is a give life. 50% melee damage, 30% critical hit damage. Okay. Hold on. So far, that looks okay. Oh, interesting. So you, you know, reload, chuck it, and then it turns into like a transfusion. That's interesting. What was that rocket launcher that was kind of like that too? Oh, I can't think of the name. Let me see if I can just really quickly find out the name. Pretty sure it was a blue. I think you get it from... What's it called? The Bandit Slaughter, maybe? The Apex? Yes, the Apex from the Bandit Slaughter. That's what it is. All right, let me go back to the Blood Bank. Here it is. 
When reloaded, it will release multiple transfusion orbs that seek out friendly units and heal them, heals allies when you hit them with this weapon. Okay, so it's a, a healing weapon, a support weapon, basically. And then the OP exclusive is called the Glop. It's a relic, slag damage, and slag resistance. And then its red text is total protonic reversal. Increases all damage done with a specific damage type. Your melee attacks deal additional slag damage. Okay, it's like the Dawn and then... What's the other one? Dawn and the Plague. Is a reference to Ghostbusters. Okay. I wonder how that melee would work with slag damage. Would it get him slagged? That would be interesting on a uh, Krieg or Zero. Hmm. All right, though, it is time to move on. Okay, so take it the quest at BFFs. That way we can get all of the lieutenants. Oh, is this it? Yes, the crematoria. I think that uh, I think that's how you say it. The crematoria. It's a grenade, a Hyperion grenade, very red or not red, but orange with red in there. There we go. OK, times four blast radius, 2.1 fuse spawns four child grenades. And then its red text is live in hell. What do you do? What? Okay, there we go. Okay, so it shoots flames. Isn't that kind of what the uh, the breath of terror does? Here it is, the crematoria. Always fire, spawns, geysers, a flame that seek out enemies. Oh. Both name and flavor text are a reference to the movie The Chronicles of Riddick. Gotcha. Crematoria. Hmm. All right, that's from Lieutenant Bolson. One down, three more to go. Okay, finally, the perforator. Put that here. It's a legendary bandit shotgun. It's got some blood at the very end of the barrel. What color is this? Like a blue, maybe? Maybe like a gray? I don't know. It's times three. Accuracy is pretty bad. Fire rate is 1.4. Reload time is 3.6. 15 mag. Then it's red text is jabby, jabby, jab, jab, jab. And then you get 70% critical hit damage. All right, what do you do? Okay, it really does only shoot three pellets in like a triangular position, if that makes any sense. Okay, that was not quick enough. Does it shoot knives or something? Why is it jabby jabby? No. Hmm. So it shoots at three pellets for the price of one bullet. I'm not sure what it does. Let us find out the perforator. Here it is. Deals melee damage, fires in a triangular pattern. Interesting. It's like the uh, face puncher or the oh, what's the uh, assault rifle one? The blade fury. There we go. Benefits from zero's backstab, killing blow and death mark. Works well with Krieg's silence the voices. OK, I do have that. Uh, Fire fiend does not ignite enemies. Each projectile hit will activate the love thumper Nova. Apply or hit supply shock damage with the Dawn Relic and then the Manly Man Shield. Okay, 
benefits from all forms of gun damage and melee damage increases all pellets individually calculate towards things like zeros killing blue okay then it's a reference to the simpsons movie jabby jabby jab 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 i'm trying to remember but when was the last time i saw that movie it's been forever interesting though it's basically the face puncher all right that's kind of cool to be honest all right and tetra did not drop anything well that's going to be the end of the episode i thought that was a legendary that must have just been money yeah uh not much really got done and that's because each farm just decided to take forever and then in the mod, for whatever reason, Uranus and uh, Cassius, or Cassius, however you want to say it, their loot pools have been, like, severely decreased. You know how they shoot out huge amounts of loot? Yeah, they don't do that anymore in this mod. So yeah, that was uh, not very fun. But uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because of on my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then I hope to see you guys uh, next time. Hiya.